16th annual Gem and Jam show continues to rock on through the weather. The three day festival is expected to bring thousands of gem and music fans right here to Southern Arizona. 13 News reporter Alex Valdez is live at the Pima County Fairgrounds. Alex, how's it looking out there? A little chilly? Yes, Brooke, I could tell you it just started sprinkling not too long ago and it's still pretty chilly out here. Many people tell me that they are ready and prepared to brace this cold weather no matter what. Many people out here are bundled up and they tell me that they will be out here rain or shine. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm, glad, I'm grateful to be here with each and every one of you. Whether rain or shine, organizers say they are ready and prepared to keep the show going. So we've been watching the weather for the last few weeks. We noticed there was some precipitation and it kind of began to minimize and minimize. And now there's only a small window here on Friday. Josh Pollock, one of the festival's owners, says weather is always a possibility, but they are hopeful the rain will dissipate. We can't control the weather and we're going to do this rain or shine and just continue to have a great time no matter what. Eric Derry, a vendor from Maine, is no stranger to the cold and wet weather. So it was hailing earlier and uh, raining, so it was a little slow, but uh, it's picking up and the music's starting, so people are starting to feel good and bouncing around now. Derry says even though the weather is a change for most, the rain shouldn't keep people from checking out all the gems and minerals. There's all kinds of artists from all over the country and uh, lots of clothing, new clothing companies and stuff like that, up and coming artists that are trying to make their way. And this is one of the better places in the, in the country to come to to see all that. If you are planning to attend, Pollock says it's important that music goers come prepared just in case. We just saw some rain. There's actually some more clouds coming in. So we're fully prepared with everything. We have, we have tarps, we have rain gear, we have some indoor areas. Yes, and organizers tell me as long as there is no lightning or thunder and first responders say it's safe, they'll be out here. And if you can't make it out tonight, don't worry. You will have a chance to be come out tomorrow and Sunday for even more music and gems. We'll be sure to have all the information you need up on our website, kwld.com. But for now, reporting live from the Pima County Fairgrounds, Alex Valdez, 13 News.